Hey guys, I'm Chris Finata and I'm going to teach you how to rig up a spear gun right off the shelf. We're going to rig it from start to finish so you have a chance to go get some fish. All right, we'll grab our pathos laser and head out. For this project, we're going to need a lighter, screwdriver, a reel, reel line, scissors, crimpers, some monofilament shooting line, crimps, and fresh bands. For our 90 centimeter spear gun build, we'll be using a 40 meter reel. Remember, your reel size is gonna be determined by how deep you're hunting. You don't wanna be hunting in 40 meters with a 40 meter reel. You have no room to play the fish, and that means you're gonna have to ditch your gun if the fish pulls hard. First thing we're going to do is we're going to mount the reel to the spear gun. You're going to use the preset screws on the spear gun to mount the reel to these two holes. want to do this without any line on the reel to make your life a lot easier. The reel line we'll be using is this 1.9 millimeter, 50 meter roll of Dyneema cord. Its breaking strength is around 680 pounds. We are going to Feed it in through the front of the spear gun. Just like that. And down to the reel. So first things first, we'll take off the drag knob, make things easier. Now we're going to try to get this line through this hole and out towards the drag knob. I like to have the line high on the reel. So then you're going to push it through and try to work it so it comes out this way. Then this end is going to go through the drag knob, after which you're going to tie a knot nice and tight. Cut the end, and you're going to burn it down. Just like that. Let's see. Pull it through. Tighten the drag knob. Just like that. Now we're ready to spool. You want to reel it in nice and even like. Take your time. If you're finding resistance, this handle has to be extended all the way. Makes it a little bit easier to spin. We should get most of the line on the reel.
Okay, now that we have our reel attached with a appropriate amount of line, we can use any securing knot to attach our quick release snap swivel. In this case, I'll be using a Palomar knot, which is very strong. Same thing as before, burn the end. Try not to burn the main line. Nice. And this is what we'll be attaching the shooting line to. We're going to be attaching the shooting line through the hole of the shark fin tab. So make sure you put your sleeve on for your crimp. Slide it through the shark fin and back through the crimp. You don't want a crimp that's too big or too small. Get the crimp that's rated for the mono you're using. For this next part, we're gonna burn just the end of the monofilament. We don't wanna burn the main line, just the very tip. So we make a nice little mushroom cap. This is gonna catch on the sleeve as we pull it out. And this will assure nothing catches on the way out. It's much neater and much less likely to hook onto anything. When you crimp your monofilament, you're going to want to crimp it not all the way at the end. You're gonna crimp it just below the lip of the crimp. That's gonna cause it to flare out on both sides. This is gonna give the line some wiggle room and keep it from cutting against the crimp. You also want to crimp so you're pushing the lines together just like this, right? Do not crimp this way. This is not how crimpers work. So push the lines together just like this, right below the upper edge of the crimp and squeeze. Okay, do the other side. Now that we have a shooting line attached to the gun, we're gonna try to measure it out. So, from the shaft all the way to the pin in the front, down the notch, back towards the line release on the trigger mech, up the gun, catching right there, back to the trigger mech, and finally, we should be about there. Good. So, we can cut it or we can leave it as is. We're going to hook our quick release snapsable 
to this end of the monofilament. Cut the end of the fishing line. Give it a nice little diagonal cut. Make it easier to get through. This one, we don't care. We want to make this one a little bit bigger loop. So it's easy to take on and off the snap swivel in case we have to pull it out through a fish. Mushroom cap. Slide it through. Crimp. A little bit of an edge. little diagonal cut. Good. All we have to do for this one is make a nice big loop. Weave it through. Burn the end to a mushroom cap. Now that we all know how to make a nice crimp. Let's do it. Leave a little bit of an edge, the lip of the crimp. Squeeze. Break your way down. And the last bit. Okay. Nice and strong. Just enough shooting line. Snaps a Okay, now tighten it up. Oh boy. Drag, push in the handle. All right, we're good. Shoe line's all set up. Okay, tighten the drag, lock your handle, and now we're good. Shoe line is all set up. You can also add a little bit of rubber to make a shock cord here if you want to. Up to you. Now we're almost finished. We just gotta get our circular bands through. So we're gonna put them through the nozzle and we're gonna use a constrictor knot. So all you have to do is get the line through. So our wishbone's gonna wrap around the bottom of that loop and back through itself. Right under there. 
you're going to small bit of tag, you're going to pull tight. Just like that, it cinches down on its own. Your band should be set to about 300% stretch on the gun. That's measuring from the muzzle hole to your notches. Overpowering your bands means excessive recoil, which translates to less accurate shots. So, I recommend band stretch between 280% and 325%. Anything more or less, you're not getting the maximum utility out of the gun. There you have it. Our fully set up spear gun is ready to go. I hope you enjoyed that. Hopefully we can go get some fish.